From the age of five, I was in the garden, swinging, hitting everything I could possibly hit, and try not to break too many windows. My dad took me with him one day when he was playing golf. I really enjoyed watching him play and watching all the camaraderie, all the fun they were having. My grandma used to take me down and play uh, four times a year when I was 10, and from there I just fell in love with it. My father introduced me at the game at age seven. It was great bonding time for all of us, and that's where it all came from. My dad probably put a club in my hand when I was probably four or five. Just loved it. I was excited to go play. After I graduated from Duke in 2001, I really did not want to get a real job. I talked with a good friend, Joe Ogilvy, and he said, Kev, I think you got a chance. I played a lot of golf with my dad growing up. He's a lawyer and after work, we played. He's been a big part of my success, just from a friendship standpoint. I had a lot of swimming at the time. When I would play the golf tournaments, I got a trophy for doing good in that and got a ribbon for swimming. So it was a very easy decision to start playing golf. <laughs> Growing up, I always kind of followed in my brother's footsteps. He played college golf, I played college golf. I guess it's one of those things you're always looking up to your brother. My grandparents would take me to play ever since I could barely walk, so I started playing with my grandparents and kept playing from there. I started playing golf when I was probably about eight with my mom. To tell you the truth, I'd rather drive the golf cart than play golf. <laughs> My first jobs were at the golf course and then somehow ended up advancing in the game of golf to the point where I am now on the PGA Tour. I, um, I'm always nervous on the first tee. I think almost everybody gets the jitters on the first tee. I'm nervous. I'm completely nervous. It's just visualization, stepping up and hitting it. I think the more you think about it, the worse you are. I hit a good tee shot and I turned around and, and Arnold Palmer was on the other side of the tee. I remember turning to my caddy and I said, thank God I didn't see him before I teed off. You just have to be clear in your mind of what it is you're doing, uh, where you want to hit that first tee shot and go play golf. Everybody's goal is to win. I like to chip into the win, so I always want to leave the ball so I'm chipping into the win. It's kind of look at playing a tournament like it's a fight with yourself. Playing bad golf is very frustrating, but changing playing bad golf is the most difficult thing. It's tough. It beats you up. You have to dig deep sometimes. Golf is a mind game. Golf gives and takes as it pleases. It's very grueling. You can play bad for nine holes and then turn it around and hit one good shot. I think of all sports, I think golf parallels life more than any other. Committed, determined, passionate, positive, animated, scrappy, patient, easy going. When you get in the zone in golf, there is very little thought going on. You know every putt's going to go in. You know every shot's going to be close to the pin. For me, it's just a matter of just letting go. I wish I could bottle it and give it to everybody. To hear the roar, to hear the excitement, the electricity, the buzz. Yeah, coming down the back nine, knowing you have a chance. I could barely even feel myself. When you're in the hunt on a Sunday, that's that's what we do it for. What a tournament is. The greatest feeling in the world. Jumping and high five in the crowd. Goosebumps on us the size of our fist. Unbelievable. I'll remember that win forever. The roars throughout the course is something I'll never forget. The hairs on the back of my neck standing up. My kids were at the age where they, they could see me on TV and holding the trophy. It's special. Just all the emotions poured out. And it's no, no feeling like it. One of my God-given talents was to play golf and, and to entertain people. And uh, fortunately, I've been able to do that for a long time. I believed in myself, and I think that's the biggest thing. No matter what people tell you, and then surround yourself with people who believe in you. And if you do that, I think you'll be successful. I really do. I think it's hard not to be.